Good morning everyone. How you doing Mickey? On today's video we'll be explaining top 5 reasons why the Shih Tzu dog might not be the right dog for you. That's okay Mickey, I still love you. Do you feel that the Shih Tzu, are you having second, are you having second doubts about getting a Shih Tzu? Are you not certain that the Shih Tzu breed is right for you? Are you having second opinions about it? You're not sure if this dog will fit your lifestyle. On today's video, we'll be explaining those reasons why the Shih Tzu may not be right for you. So I'll give you my take, my opinion on it. So here are my top five reasons why Shih Tzu may not be the right dog for you. It's okay, Mickey. It's okay. I'm here for you. So anyways, let's get started. Number one. Separation anxiety is a major issue with Shih Tzus. They thrive on human companionship, stress, anxiety, depression can happen over time if these dogs are left home alone way too often. So it's very important that you guys figure that out if there's the right dog for you. I will leave a link up below to have tips and ideas to deal with separation anxiety and make sure that this dog is the right dog for you. Number two, now Shih Tzus are known to be stubborn. This is one trait that Shih Tzus have right now, where, where any kind of training is involved, from potty training, from crate training, from learning, uh, any types of new tricks, uh, even for feeding or going for a walk, they take a lot of time, a lot of patience. It's very important that when you're dealing with a Shih Tzus that Time and patience is a very important role when trying to teach your dog uh, anything from obedience to eating to training and purpose. So make sure you guys have time and patience for your Shih Tzu. Three. Now, when it comes to Shih Tzus, eating can be a struggle. They're very fussy eaters. They're very picky when it comes to food. Early puppy stage, they will be always be hungry to eat probably three times a day but once they reach six months and up to adulthood you will notice that they will struggle to eat they'll eat less and less but they also become very picky with food they want your table scraps they want your human food so that's the reason why it could be a hassle trying to feed your shishu it's very time frustrating lots of times hand feeding is the only way to go in feeding your shishu really consider this option if you're getting a Shih Tzu that you may have to hand feed them in order to put food in their stomach. Four. Now it's very important that your dog gets plenty of exercise but remember that Shih Tzus is a small breed they tend to overheat. Heat stroke, heat exhaustion is very common with these breeds. They have a short snout so breathing in hot humid air is not good for them uh, the key to their health is honestly indoors if you live in a hot climate make sure you guys have air conditioning you need air conditioning otherwise these dogs will overheat make sure they have plenty of water for them because they really need plenty of water and uh, if you guys can indoor activities is a lot more important than outdoor so that will keep that she's too a lot healthier that way. Bye. So grooming is probably the most important feature day-to-day -day activity when having a Shih Tzu. Lots of things need to be done when grooming. You have to make sure the tear stains are gone. You gotta check the ears for any kind of ear infection or any kind of dirt that goes inside it. Grooming, combing of the fur, combing of the ears and body. You also gotta make sure to give him a shower and uh, trim the nails, check the teeth. Very important that you guys brush it. Otherwise, you're gonna have lots of matted fur. So this is something that must be done every single day to keep their coat shiny as possible. This is a very important feature when owning a Shih Tzu because their fur is their highlight and you need to have patience, time to brush their fur every single day. Otherwise, it just becomes matted and matted. So guys, 
these are my top five reasons. Uh, I hope everyone can uh, consider getting a shit suit. I know there are lots of things to consider when getting a shit suit. And I uh, hope you guys make the right decision. If it fits your lifestyle or not, really consider that. I hate to see these dogs uh, wind up back in the shelter or with another new owner. It's really tough on them. So I want to give my take and hope you guys make the right decision when getting a Shih Tzu. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and also check out the other video, top five reasons why you should get a Shih Tzu. And hopefully you guys can make that decision based on that. All right guys, I see you soon. Bye bye Mickey.